All right, everybody, welcome back. So today we are going to be talking about web scraping stock data to build uh, a stock dashboard. Um, so previously you could have done it on Yahoo. However, um, going off some of the, um, the updates and stuff, I'm gonna show you a new way to do it. Um, originally got the information from, I think it's Dividology, uh, but let's kind of go over what it looks like. So you have your import XML feature and here we're going to be pulling the earnings per share from BlackRock here. So normally you would go here, you would grab your URL. If you want it to reference the ticker symbol, we'll back on out all the way back to the quote area, put in your quotation mark, and then we're going to go ahead and put the and symbol in and where are we pulling it from? We're gonna pull it from this ticker symbol, so B31. So you can see it down here, B31. We'll put our comma, and then we'll go get, um, here I've already got it highlighted, but you would just, um, well, let's do this here real quick. So if we wanted to do the earnings per share, we would, Apple, what is it, page source? Nope. It is inspect. Okay, it's right here. It's highlighted with the earnings per share. When we do that, we would come down to copy full path, X path, or copy full X path. Uh, then we would come back in here, put our quotations, and error resource that you are all not found all right so new way to do it finvi oops fin viz so once again let's go over to blackrock again come down here we have our earnings per share so let's go back up here. We'll get rid of all this. We'll do our import XML. And go back to the T equals. Put your quotation. Then we'll go ahead and put the and symbol. Once again, we're looking at B31. Put the comma our second set of quotations and let's see on finviz it's a little tougher to find it but see what did i say the page no i did it again go back earnings per share inspect here we go well maybe it wasn't that much tougher and we're going to go ahead and copy the full x path um, right now i'm on brave browser right now uh, but it does work on Firefox or Chrome, whichever other browser that you you want to use. So we'll, we'll go ahead and copy that, put our second set of quotations, close it off with parentheses, and 34.5 or 34.25. Now, we can go ahead and drag this down. Now let's go ahead and double check that. So let's go look at what was the next one? Bank of New York, I think. Bank of New York, Mellon. So, on theirs, earnings per share, 3.44. Earnings per share, 3.44. Franklin Resources, we can go look at them. Ben. And let's go take a look at this one. Um, earnings per share, 1.60. 1.60 so if you were having trouble getting the import xml to work the reason is that yahoo finance changed um their site to not allow it um, or they updated something that doesn't allow it however finviz still does and so you can still go ahead and web scrape stock data off of that um, if you found this video useful 
like, subscribe. I'm going to start doing more stock information, stock videos. Um, but yeah, have a great rest of your day.